in thinking of True Detective, mm -hmm. um, was that an offer? No. No, so you auditioned for that? Yes. Okay, well, I, I'm curious about that it, as it relates to your, your own mystery about your process, because in it you play a parent's worst nightmare role and, and that your kids go missing. And from all I've read and from what I understand, you had to go to a pretty dark place in terms of imagining losing your own children as, as a way to understand this character. And that's, that's the method you chose. Mm -hmm. and, and I was curious if that was the only way you could do it. I guess it's the only way I feel like I tapped into something. Uh, we do these exercises in Susan's class where you had to close your eyes and think of this person in your life that's really in your life and you had to reach out and touch their cheekbones and touch their face and touch their beard and you know, you know, or their face and their arms and stuff and you really had to internalize and focus on them. And I connected with that. I really connected with that and was able to, I feel like, excel once I learned how to do that. So since then, everything, every character has been somebody that I know. Really? So as much as I say, oh, I'm going to make this character up, it stems from someone that I knew or met. And if I don't know him or meet him, I'll go out and find him. Um, True Detective, the exterior of that character, I went out and found what the guy looked like or what I wanted him to look like or who I saw. And it was this guy I'd seen out at my farm town. I'd seen him twice, but then I finally found him again and I photographed him at the car wash. Now, did you go up and no, I touch didn't, his face? No, I didn't uh, tell him or anything. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't know this. But I said, that's what I feel like the guy looks like, you know. And then the... In, Internalization, I mean, True Detective is probably one of the hardest jobs I've ever had to have to sit, sit with. And I was really, I loved everyone I was working with. It was a great experience, but I just wanted that character off of me. I didn't want, and it took me a couple, you know, a month or something to be like, all right, your kids are fine. But I have kids, I have a daughter and I have a son. And uh, it was the easiest job I've ever done as far as acting but it was the hardest job I ever had to do to sit with. Because, I mean, all I had to do was think about my two kids and um, what that would have been like to, to lose them. And so it made my job very easy to, to, to do the stuff as well as Nick wrote some very poetic dialogue for me or throughout the whole show, but, but Tom stuff, but uh, as far as like getting into character or any of that stuff, it was, I didn't have to work too hard on that. You know, it was something that just all, that's all I had to think about. I mean, my kids are the most important thing to me in my life. And uh, the thought of losing them is like terrifying. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.